the gut microbiome composition affects gene expression of its human host. Welcome to Microbial Minutes, ASM's update on what's hot in the microbial sciences, the who's in control, you or your microbiome edition. I'm ASM Science Communications Specialist, Julie Wolf, and today I will be highlighting a paper from ASM's M Systems Journal, which you can find at a- um, msystems.asm.org. In this article, the scientists want to look at the effect of gut microbiome on human gene expression. Many studies have suggested that gut microbiota influence the immune response, nutrient acquisition, and gut permeability, among other biological features. Uh, And in this case, they wanted to use a very um, uh, systematic system, (laughs) which is shown down here on the left-hand side. Uh, Their system involves gut microbiota, which has been uh, derived from five different individuals, all of whom have a unique diet and genetic makeup, and thus different microbial composition and diversity as well. Now, these different gut microbiota were cultured with human colonocytes, which is a type of gut epithelial cell, to see how gene expression of these cells would change. They found 409 genes, which had different expression patterns between those colonocytes which were cultured with and without the gut microbiota. And the expression patterns differed uh, in response to those five different microbiota consortia. On the right-hand side here, you can see that some of the gene expression patterns were affected in the same manner over time, either up or down, relative to those cells that had no microbes. And some gene expression was extremely different between individuals. No two microbiota induce the same gene expression pattern, uh, for example, in the graphs shown on the bottom right-hand side. Having shown that the different microbiota induce different gene expression changes during an otherwise identical system, they then hypothesized that the differences could be due to specific microbiota features, such as the abundance of certain taxa, which we'll look at on the next slide. Using statistical software, they determined that 121 host genes with changes is um, in microbial taxa, that 35 taxa within this group were associated with the gene expression changes of two or more host genes. And this suggested to the researchers that perhaps one microbe may affect regulation of multiple genes. Within that 121 host gene uh, group, which were affected by the microbial taxa, they were able to take 70 of these differentially expressed genes and put them into two distinct functional clusters. One of those clusters was genes related to cell junction assembly, the formation of tight junctions between the um, colonic epithelial cells. And those genes positively correlated with ruminococcus, coprococcus, and streptococcus presence. And the other function was protein target of the endoplasmic reticulum, which positively uh, correlated with odorobacter, blautia, and colincella presence. The authors went on to manipulate the microbial consortia and demonstrate that gene expression can be regulated in predictable ways when the microbial community has a known composition. They also began to look at how these genetic changes were being made, uh, and their data suggests that this is due to epigenetic changes. They demonstrated that the microbial composition can affect chromatin assembly and binding of specific transcription factors. Now, there are many signaling pathways that lead to the gene expression changes shown here, uh, and the team is likely studying the mechanism of those in more detail. The types of studies that um, shown here are, have important implications for many different types of uh, benefits for human health and for decreasing disease in people. The gut microbi- excuse me, the gut microbiota have previously been af- uh, associated with specific metabolic pathways in epithelial cells, uh, and gut m- microbial composition is proposed to play a role in diseases such as Crohn's disease and colorectal cancer. By looking at the single genetic background in an in vitro system in a very systematic way here, this scientific team was able to dis- determine that the effects of specific bacteria uh, have, excuse me, the scientific team was able to determine that there are specific effects of different consortia on epithelial gene regulation and thus function. Their challenge, in addition to continuing to define some of these additional functional um, effects, is to recapitulate these results in an in vivo setting to demonstrate that the effects uh, can occur in a more complex environment, such as one inside the mammalian host. Now, to catch updates with those future experiments, be sure to subscribe to our Microbial Minutes. Ring the bell to make sure you get a notification every time we add an update. Today, we've heard how specific microbiota 
uh, consortia can influence the epithelial gene expression and thus function of those cells. I'd like to thank you for listening and thank Ray Ortega for production. I'm Julie Wolf, and I'll be with you next time on Microbial Minutes.